the only chance I have left to save my home and to save my life. He wants to harm you guys. Bad things are going to happen to you. You're going to die. Burn you, Josh. Holy s***. It just said freaking burn you, Josh. You're not going to survive tonight. It said you're going to die. <laughs> Whoever you are, get out of here. Bad things are going to happen to you. You're going to die. Die. After the passing of my father, I've been getting deadly sick. I would have bruises in odd places like on my back or my leg. I saw something in my bedroom in the corner just staring at me. Dark shadow will whisper in my ear, I took your dad. Bad things are gonna happen to you. You're gonna die. I am like so scared. Why is this happening after the passing of my dad? I think the devil is after me. Nobody wants to come here and visit me because of this. The reason why I called you guys here is because the work that you guys do is amazing and you help many families. The only chance I have left to save my home and to save my wife. Please help me get whatever is out of here. I don't want it. I don't need it. I've had enough of my life. I do have a picture that I got off of a ghost tube. That picture right there off a ghost tube. There's something there. I don't know what that is. And that was in my bedroom. I'm hateful towards people. And I've never had anything like this happen to me, but I never thought in a million years this would ever happen. I did not believe this. It's scaring me. Please just help me get whatever this is out of here. Just get them out of here to where I can live my life again and breathe and be peaceful and not be so angry. And I did do the Ouija board because it was the only way to talk to it because it wouldn't talk to me. And the last thing it said before I said goodbye, it said, you're gonna die. I am stronger than them. I am not going to fail. It said, you're not gonna survive tonight. All I can say is be aware of whatever is in here. I don't know what he's gonna do. All I know is I'm very scared. All I can say is just be careful. God, please watch over them while they are here. Please just get whatever out of here, out of here, because enough is enough. I don't know, it just feels like he's in my mind and telling me, cry, 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 it's okay, cry. I'm, I'm hot right now. My hands are numb. It's like he's really bothering me. I mean, like I could sense him being around. The only thing that I can say is he needs to get out of here. This is my home. This is my way. This is God's place. Whoever you are, get out of here. I am not weak. I am strong. I am done with you, so get out of here. This is not something I wish anybody to go through. This is bad. Right now, he's taking the breath out of my lungs. You are not welcome here no more. I need a minute, guys. It's like he's, it feels like he's 
taking his hand and just squishing every piece of air out of my lungs. He wants to harm you guys. I'm not gonna get my wife back. He's got his hand over my mouth, half devil and half demon. Ever since that night with the Ouija board, why are you here? Say something. Quit being silent. Speak. The only thing I could do to get him to talk is go on the Ouija board. That is the only way he will talk. Well, let me run out and get some more stuff and then... I want to help her, but I worry about the conditions in there. That's bad. Dude, you don't see what I saw. I mean, condition-wise, I mean, I feel bad for her, everything, but... I mean, our goal is to help everyone. But there are times when the conditions of the location, the safety of the area that we're in... I mean, do you want to be in this place when it gets nighttime? No. And she already told us. Run, run back the footage uh, right now where she told us this place ain't safe at night. I think sometimes we have to put our safety first and understand that we can't help everybody. I don't feel safe going back in there. And I sure in the heck don't feel safe being here after dark. I mean, just when we pulled in here, we had people just sitting here staring at us. Okay, as you guys know, we do everything possible to help anybody that needs our help. But sometimes we run into conditions that puts our health at jeopardy, safety reasons, avoid our gut feeling and just go with it. But I think this is the one time we need to trust our gut feeling But I don't know what to do for her, but I don't feel comfortable about walking back into that place. And I don't feel comfortable about standing out here neither. And yeah, we're already getting a crowd. Yeah. I, mean, I definitely want to be honest with her. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I just feel sick to my stomach. I had to get out of there for a minute. I think like conditions wise and for our safety, and I don't mean that in like a disrespectful way. I just want to be completely honest. All right. And I want you to be in a better place. I just don't, I don't even know why people like my ex have to play with that kind of stuff. Yeah, because it puts you in a bad spot. Things been happening really bad to me lately. I said I'm depressed and angry or I'm sick. Let me grab some holy water and we'll go inside and I'll pray with you, okay? Okay. Sean, give me some holy water. I'm gonna go inside and pray with her. Can't say this has ever happened to us. Part of me feels bad that we're actually walking away from a case. Lord, we just thank you for bringing us here with Cheryl today and bringing us into her life. I know Cheryl feels bad for trying to communicate with whatever was inside this house. Lord, we just cover Cheryl in the holy water and the light of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Anything that is dark and evil inside this house, in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave this house, to leave Cheryl let her live her life in peace. The stuff that we've had going on before this, I think it's, I think it's for the best to uh, get out. Because right now we are drawing a crowd already. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who has authority over this house now. We seal this house with the blood of Jesus Christ, the holy water. My mind's like, all over the place right now and the thing is i mean i think 
kind of hurts my soul too. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I got like a lot of mixed feelings and this is not somewhere you want to be. My health in the past and everything, I don't want to take a chance of anything happening. We pray all these things in your name, Almighty God, but through you, we have the strength to help these families. My heart and my soul belongs to you. My home belongs to you. Please, oh dear God, watch over me. Remind me that I am a child of God. Remind me that I am yours. Josh is in there praying for her right now. Please keep me safe. Please keep my home safe. In your name, God, please protect me. Love me, that I am yours and I am a child of God. And I can speak your word. It's going to take a toll on me right now. Walking away from a case is something that, you know, we don't do. And I feel like we're not helping her. You have to believe, you have to pray, you have to find that strength but we've never gave up on anybody. But this one we got to. And I do not, I just don't know. It's just make me emotional as heck. I mean, we've been in bad areas before. We've uh, dealt with some bad stuff before. Lord, we pray that you continue to watch over Cheryl, anything that is attached to Cheryl. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command that you leave. Cheryl is a child of God. Through her strength and her belief, she will cast you out. I just hope you guys all understand why we had to do what we had, had to do on this case and walk away. I hope you guys all support us on our decisions that we have to make. <laughs> And they're not, not easy at all. You have to believe, okay? You have to find the strength. You can do this. Remember, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've done, he will forgive you. If you guys would, take some time and just pray for her. We all fall short of his glory. We all sin, we all make mistakes. All that grief, you have to let go of it, okay? You have to let it go and you have to live your life. I believe in you, okay? I do believe in you. And I think you're a beautiful person with a beautiful soul. And I want you to be okay. I just can't do it. You have to find the strength to do it. I will continue to pray for you, okay? Are you upset with me? After 17 years of doing this, and now to about have to walk away from a case, <clears throat> that's not easy. I know it's not easy for Josh neither. I guess that I just hope you guys, you know, hope you guys all understand why we had to do it. Just because your dad has moved on doesn't mean your dad's no longer with you. He can see you right now, he can hear you right now. What would he tell you? He would say, be strong, Cheryl. One day you'll see him again. But for now, you just need to live your life and let go of the past. It makes us stronger 
you know, as brothers to be able to handle situations like this. I mean, I apologize. And that's why I wanted to come to you and be upfront and honest. It's just, we have to look out for our safety as well, you know? We have families and I've been through so much the last couple months and I don't want to get back into that dark place again. I just can't let myself get back there. It's taken me months to dig my way out. <clears throat> but we will continue to pray for you, okay? If you need anything, you reach out to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go out and talk to Sean a little bit more and then, mm -hmm. okay? I want to thank you for reaching out. And again, I apologize for everything. And I want you to know it's not because we're giving up on you because we will continue to pray for you and so what she say? I just explained to her that the conditions and our safety and stuff has to come first and we apologize and I think this might be the first case we've ever walked away from don't worry I'll about cry too it's like the feeling is overwhelming, but I know we gotta do it. I know our main goal is to help people, but my gut is telling me this is just too much. Mm, yeah. Right now, I just want to get out of here, but yeah. we're still alive. It's hard to take. It's like a frick. It's just hard to swallow believe in a freaking case in 17 years we have never just left a case like this well this is the very first case we have ever left and the good thing is was I was able to go back in and bless the home and pray over her and yeah it's freaking emotional as hell mm-hmm you know after 17 years and uh, finally walk, have to walk away from a case. Case file. If what Cheryl is saying is correct, then whatever is inside this house knew we were coming tonight and is ready to do battle. Continuing with this investigation tonight could possibly put the three of us in real danger. With the brief prayer I did over Cheryl's house and Cheryl will keep this demonic entity at bay long enough for us to prepare ourselves for this battle. So this guy's killed both your kids? Yeah, he's done killed both of my kids. Please, just please, help me. Keep this thing away, it's working. He said you deserve it. Is all he said, Josh. Not only keep myself safe, but I have to look out for Sean as well. If you get hurt, it's your problem. Please help me. Please get whatever is it. I don't call somebody else that's willing to come in here. I can't go up against them. I would lose. And that uh, he's not going to show up and try to kill one of us. Oh, he's not going to show up, Josh, believe me. Because he's running from the cops. I don't want you guys getting hurt or anything. I don't want to get hurt by him again. Just staring at me. Like, ha ha, you didn't get rid of me. What you gonna do now? I wanna do everything in my power to help you. It's gonna be important for us to both be strong in our faith. I want you to understand the dangers that we're gonna face. It's quite possible that, you know, one of us could die. And the only thing I can say is to move forward with this and pray to God that God will keep us safe and I can live my life 
over the next couple weeks is just prepare yourself for battle. Get yourself mentally and physically prepared. I would definitely feel a whole lot better if he was arrested, but at this point I'm like, F it, let's just do it. Whatever it is, grabs a hold of me and says, ha ha, I owe you. It's trying to get inside my head. Whatever this is, we're having a war right now. I just need somebody that I can trust that knows exactly what I'm going through. I sat right there in your living room and looked you in the eyes and told you that we will never give up on you. And I meant that, so no matter how dangerous this gets. Learning about these new disturbing developments concerning this case has added a whole new element of danger. Despite this man recently being spotted in the area, we have to remain focused when going to battle with this demonic entity. I must warn you, what you are about to witness is extremely disturbing. Okay, so right now, Sean and I, we just got back here to Cheryl's house. We're gonna restart the investigation. This room right here is where they used the Ouija board and did some really bad stuff, some really evil stuff, and has really affected Cheryl's life and just ripped her life apart. So we decided to come back up here and help Cheryl. But this room right here is the very spot that they used the Ouija board. Whoever, whatever's inside this house, we want you to come forward and talk to us. You've affected Cheryl. You knew we were coming back. Were you conjured up through the Ouija board? Just her up, boys. Just her up, boys. Just her up, boys. It can sound like it came from back here. Well, I set that alarm up back here. Got a really creepy ass feeling. And the crazy thing is, there's a thunderstorm moving in right now. I don't know what that voice I just heard back there. But I'm telling you, I walked in that back room. And I feel like something freaking touched me. Are you touching, Josh? We're not scared of you at all. Did you hear it? Mm hmm. It's back here in that freaking bedroom. Okay, go back there. Who's back here? There's somebody in here. Do something. Come on, you scare. What the hell was that? Was that you? Come on, do something loud. If you came through a Ouija board, do something. Let me know that's you. Come on, coward. I was walking out here. Come forward. We want to know who you are and why you're here. Oh, we keep hearing you. You don't got anywhere to run. Okay, go back. Just pass. This is like the world's loudest refrigerator. Set one of our alarms off. I gave you permission to touch one of us. Push us. Back here. Whoa! I swear it just sounded like a freaking bed moved. Did you just move something? I keep hearing like walking. It's just crazy how I keep hearing here and you're hearing it there. But something moved in this. Yep. Whoa, air. Something just blew in my 
the neck. Here, you stand on here. Screw this. Yeah, something just blew on my freaking neck. Oh. Right there. What was it? Something just grabbed my freaking hip. I did not hit anything. Like right, right when I walked by, something just grabbed hold of my hip. Who are you? We're not here to play games with you. Whoa. Holy I told you. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, come forward and show yourself. Whoa, alarm, alarm. I got breathing in my ear. Holy shit, I'm like fucking, I'm, I got chills. I'm like shaking right now. You knew we were coming, didn't you? We're here to save Cheryl. You're a freaking coward. I don't know if I just caught that, but I swear it looked like a black shadow off to the right. Like right between the REM pod and the wall there. Dude, whatever grabbed my hip, that was so f***ing hard too. Go ahead, okay, let's go back in there again. That's what I'm saying, it's the second time you've been freaking touched. Who touched me? Touch my hand. You wanted a battle. Holy sh What the hell was that? You said somebody was gonna die tonight. It's not gonna be us. Yeah, that's what's crazy is it kept saying, you know, to her that somebody's gonna die. And the fact that somebody has died since we started this case. Yeah, Josh, the footsteps are back again. Are you behind me? You trying to sneak up on us? You like tormenting Cheryl? It is freaking creepy back here. I told you that bedroom, it is like a total different feeling. Set my alarm off. I want to know who you are and why you're here. Your reign over Cheryl ends tonight. Right when you started talking in the middle of it, I didn't want to interrupt you. It sounded like uh, something goes, mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard that or not. We got a device here. Go back out that way a little bit. You can talk to us. Did you get come through a Ouija board? Come talk to me right now. Boy, you can touch us and make noises and walk. Yeah, I hear you. Now come over here and talk. Josh, no voice. Was that you? Come on, with this storm you should have all kinds of energy. Are you a demon? Open it. Open what? You hear that behind you? Mm hmm. Can you set one of my alarms off? Oh. We keep hearing you in the bedroom. Go set that one off. Ralph. Who's Ralph? You do know we're gonna make you leave tonight, right? 
There ain't nothing you can do about it. So if you want to show yourself, this is time to do it. I hate God. Oh, I hate God. Holy It said, I hate God. Why do you hate God? God is going to destroy you tonight. You are too weak. Betrayed. Who betrayed you? I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come forward and tell me your name. Who stays back in her bedroom? They came in here, they used a Ouija board to conjure up something evil inside this house to affect Cheryl and destroy her life. I want to know who you are. You know what's crazy is when we came up here the first time, we went through crazy storms. We get back up here tonight and there's crazy storms. I don't think that's a coincidence. No, not one bit. We know you wanted us to stay here last time we were here. You don't get to cheat. Chains. Cha Chains. Oh, she was tied up at one point, chained up. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Where are you at right now? Are you watching us? Worthless b****. <gasps> worthless b****. Who's a worthless b****? Come on, tell me who's a worthless b****. I think you're worthless. Possessed. <gasps> Possessed. Oh. Oh, oh, no my. way. That's fucking crazy. Possess, that's what we want. Oh, something, 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 turn on, go out there, go. Something turned on out there. Is that what you want to do to Cheryl? Are you wanting to possess her? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, you ain't gonna do that. Not with God on her side. We're having a really bad night. Are you trying to affect Sean? It's fucking hurting bad. I'm just starting. You will not affect us. In Jesus' name, you cannot. Scratch. 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 Are you trying to hurt me right now? Holy crap. You're not going to make me leave. Sit down. No, I'm not sitting down. You notice when you have it, it talks like crazy. When I had it, it wasn't saying much. Yeah. What are you feeling? Oh, I don't just like a lot of pain, like right here. It's like freaking here and here. It's like it freaking just keeps going. Talk with me. Are you trying to hurt me? Do you want to step outside? Now you go outside. Screw this damn thing. Upset. We don't care if you're upset. Okay, you got me alone. Is this what you wanted? Burn you, Josh. Holy sh! It just said freaking burn you, Josh. Oh my gosh. Josh, come here. You are not going to freaking believe what it just said. It goes, burn you, Josh. Right after you walked out, I started walking. Crazy. Now you're freaking crazy. Yeah, I think you need to stay in here. But no, it did. It goes, burn you, Josh. I mean, as soon as you freaking stepped out, it goes, Demon. 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 Device. It's like it didn't want you to leave. My baby. My not. baby. No way. Her ex killed her baby. Are you trying to f with people's emotions? You 
If you're not afraid of me, you're not afraid of God, say your name. You think you're going to burn me? You will not affect me. We are here to do battle with you. To take you out. To help Cheryl. It's like a light right Oh, alarm. Is that you? Hit something back there. It is so f***ing. It's mine. Oh, that's mine. It is so f***ing hot in here. I mean, like, it's got to be like 90-some degrees in here right now. Can you hear her? Yes, I hear her. What is her name? This right here is the spot they did the Ouija board. If you came from the Ouija board, set my alarm off. Oh, alarm. Why can you not tell me who you are? Tell me where in the hell you came from. Please listen. Oh, no way. Loud bang. Said please listen and then a huge freaking bang back there. I'm not afraid of you. You're not going to intimidate me. Tonight you're going to go back to hell where you came from. You understand me? Oh. It's so freaking hot. Do you want to play? I mean, it's the freaking storm. It's coming in hard right now. Yeah, what are we going to play? What are you going to do? What you've been doing is serious. I want to know who you are. Are you trying to possess Cheryl? Okay, that's three times. Three times I've been touched. Why? Why are you touching me? I mean, these are not just, like, little touches. These are big f***ing touches. Tonight you leave this house. Tonight Cheryl's nightmare ends. Watch. What are you going to do? Here. Here. House. House. What is your name? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I command you... Come forward and make yourself known. If you are a demonic entity, prove to me, prove to the world. Let me see you. Right now, I'm like super, super hot. Feeling lightheaded. I just need to stop for a second. You will not affect me. You knew that you wanted to do battle. Tonight we're doing battle on our terms.
got to push through it. I got to push through this. I mean, it almost feels like my entire body is on fire. Something just freaking touched me again. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house. I command you to back away. Who are you? <gasps> Come on, coward. Let's do this. Knock all you want. Your reign over Cheryl's life ends tonight. Cold spot. Super cold. It is, like I said, it's so f***ing hot in here. It's so hot in here. That is... Tell me your name. Banging. Show yourself. Who are you going to kill? Tell me who you're going to kill. Over here. Something touched me and it said over here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's laughing. It touched me and laughed. I'm being surrounded by something. I feel like I'm surrounded. There's more than one of you, aren't there? Dude, my heart. that you feel inside this house is freaking crazy. I've never been touched so much in my freaking life. Thing is, I'm afraid to move out of this one freaking spot. I just don't know how long I can stay in here. I am, I'm a freaking, I am sweating to death. I don't know what the frick this thing's doing. Oh, alarm. And the thing is, this freaking alarm right here is one of our newest ones. And it doesn't go off as much as like the REM pods and stuff. So for something to set this freaking alarm off, really validates. I gotta step outside for a minute. Something's not right. Oh God fight through it. Something's not right. Something keeps touching me. I'm sweating to death. I can only imagine that this case is probably the closest you can get to hell on earth. The extreme heat, the smell of death, the infestation of bugs, and this extremely evil demonic presence. Despite the extreme fear and physical pain, Sean and I must continue to push forward if we stand any hope of freeing Cheryl from this evil presence. Lord, please protect us during this investigation. In the name of Jesus, our Father, who art in Son, 
I can't even say the Lord's Prayer. I don't know what's wrong with me. I glanced up in the rearview mirror and there was a black shadow back there in the third seat of the van. Because whatever the hell's going on in this freaking house ain't right. And for what I just saw, it definitely is not freaking right. I'm just ready to go back in there with Josh. It's like you know that you need to step outside for safety. My passion to want to help Cheryl. I just need to stop for a second. I gotta get out of this house. I gotta go. Something's not right. I am f***ing sweating to death. Man, I just did not feel right in there. It's like I was getting like super hot, sweating like crazy. Things just started touching me from like every different angle. A weird feeling in my chest, pain right here by my heart. You remember that one case we did? When you get a rash, how your body like burns and itches? Yeah. That's what it felt like. My whole body feels like, like it's on fire. I can hear you walking. Are you affecting me? And then I come out here and... Well, whenever I came out, this pain I had stopped. I glanced in that rear view mirror and there was a freaking black shadow set in that third row seat. And this happened just moments before you came out. I mean, I about freaking came back in that freaking house. Okay, we'll go inside and just see what you get real quick. Yeah, watch that freaking back seat, I'm telling you. I'll put a camera. All right, here we go. We're gonna head back in. What'd you do to my brother? I'm talking to you. Answer me. Come talk to me now. Grave. I don't know what you want me to do about a grave. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure neither. You're a piece of crap, I know that. You wanna freaking attack people and hurt them? But you ain't doing nothing now, are you? If something like super negative is around me and affecting me, I get like super hot and I shake. And I just feel like this pressure is on my neck. You see how strong you are? Set off every one of these alarms. Come on, coward. That's one. I said all of them. Something back here. Some knocking. Come out of that bedroom. God. Please, Lord, let Sean be safe. Cheryl said you, you uh, ripped the shower curtain off. So knock something over. I don't know what that frickin' taste is. I don't know if that's got something to do with, like, frickin' paranormal or... Like an iron taste or like a blood taste in your mouth. Go to hell, Sean. Holy f***! f you! F you! All... Bitch. You're a f you! Oh my god, I'm not going to hell you are you're going back where you came from holy shit, this is where I need Josh oh my god come on where are you at show yourself I got freaking God on my side you don't have nothing have to come through a stupid ass Ouija board oh my god I'm yeah, I'm not f***ing running. Holy sh**. Now it's wanting me to f***ing run. Well, do something. Make me run. Idiotic. Is that all you're going to do is say sh**? Can't do anything? Won't make my f***ing brother feel like sh**? 
Come on. Knock something over now. Freaking cold breeze. Something just blew on the back of my freaking neck. You behind me? I don't freaking like this one freaking bit. Yeah, I think I pissed it off. Oh, sh I guess not. Echo box, echo box on the floor. Holy sh... Alright, I need Josh. this. Josh! Josh! Get your ass in here! Come on! Holy sh... Look! Look! It has not went off one time. But I may have pissed this thing off pretty bad. It may have told me to go to hell, Sean. And then told me to run. Walk away right from now. it. Right now. Right now. Walk away from it. Go. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I pissed this fucking thing off bad. But when it said go to hell, and then I started, I told it to go to fucking hell. 87 degrees. But I told it to go to fucking hell and it goes run. I definitely don't feel safe in here by myself no more. And then just what just happened right there when I was telling you about it and it said right now. Did you have something touch you again? Mm -hmm. See, I had something freaking, I was standing right here and something blew on the back of my neck again. And right now I'm just starting to get a real bad freaking headache again. It's like, I don't know, ever since I like freaking blew on the back of my neck, I started to get a headache and, and I mean, I don't know if I've freaking ever been so freaking angry at something in my freaking life. But I'll tell you what, when you piss this thing off, it unleashed on the freaking ghost tube, saying Okay, let's step out for a second and regroup. Yeah, well, I'd say we're definitely dealing with a freaking demon. Or something totally pissed off. i tell you one thing, I've never sweated so much in my life on an investigation. Why are you in my home? I'm confused. Why are you confused? Why are you in my home, in my bedroom? What did I do to you? I didn't do anything to you. I'm what? stuck. You're stuck? What do you mean you're stuck? Bedroom. Why are you in my bedroom? Abused. Why were you abused? Chains. What do you mean, chains? I don't deserve this. Attached. What do you mean, attached? Bruise. What do you want from me? Tell me now. If you are by me, set that off again. Fool. I am not no fool. You're the fool. You know, the crazy thing is this place has been so crazy. We're so worried about what's in there. And we could forgot all about the guy that could come here and kill us. What do you want from me? Tell me now. Apologize. What are you apologizing for? Open it. Open what? I ain't opening anything. I'm not scared of you. I am going to fight for my home to be at peace. 
I'm scared. What do you mean you're scared? Did something happen to you here? Did you used to live here? Does that mean a yes? Satanic. Oh, what do you mean, satanic? Are you trying to come after me? Leave. I'm not leaving! This is my home! You need to leave! This is my home. I live here now. Not you. Oh, love it. Wolf. Oh, oh Jesus. Me running. There was a huge fucking black shadow right next to the fucking window. I mean that. Wait. Shh. I looked over and there was a huge black shadow right there next to the window. Holy. What's this guy? Out of here. Look at this. Dead. What do you mean, dead? This is my place. This is not your home. This is mine. What did I tell you? I've seen it in the back and see. Dude, there better not be anything in this car. She's pissing it off and it's attacking us. Yeah. Dude, that was so loud. I swear to God, I looked over there, and there was a mass. Some can hit this fucking window. Is that recording? What? That GoPro. What if I got it? Where's the GoPro at? Right here's us. So. Let me see. Yeah, it's recording. Blue light. Oh, I bet you ain't recording. I bet you should. It was recording. Oh, love it. Wolf. Oh, oh no. Jesus. <laughs> me. Me running. There was a huge black shadow right next to the fucking window. I mean that. Wait. Shh. Oh, love it. Wolf. Oh, love it. Wolf. Watch closely as this black mass slams against the van. You can see it's hard enough to move the van door. Watch the door trim move violently during this scary encounter. This is where I live now. This is no longer your place. This is my place. Not yours. Are you leaving bruises on me while I am sleeping? Why are you here? Because this is where I live. This is my home. You need to go. Away from me. I don't want you here. Tell me now. Why are you here? And who are you? Funny. It's going to be funny. When they get you out of here. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, defend us and protect us during this cleansing and keep us safe. Anything that is attached to Cheryl, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I command you to leave. In the name of Jesus, we cast you out. You will leave this house. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who has authority over this house. In the name of Jesus, we cast you out. Anything that was attached to Cheryl, any spells or curses that were put onto Cheryl, we cast you to hell. Go back to where you came from. Our Father, Our who Father, art in heaven, art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come. Kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Tell it to leave. 
Leave. In the name of Jesus Christ, leave. Say it. Leave now. This is my body, my home, my life. I want you out of me now. We cast you out, demon. Go, I'm coming back here. You can see and hear all the alarms inside the house begin going off like crazy as we push this dark presence from the house. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave this house, demon. You are no longer wanted here. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who has authority over Cheryl and over this house. In the name of Jesus, we break all curses that were put on the Cheryl. Whatever came through the Ouija board, we close that Ouija board in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We damn you straight to hell. Tell it to get out of your house. Get out of my home. This is not your home anymore. This is mine. Okay, everything stopped. It's gone. You did it, though. Good job, sir. You did it. Now I can feel all the air back into my lungs again. You're strong. All right. Yeah. Just You're freaking amazing. All I can say is I thank God. Because I couldn't even sleep in here. I, every time I would sleep in here, I would cry. Lord, as we move on to our next case, our next family, I pray that you continue to watch over Cheryl and keep her safe. Let Cheryl live her life in peace. We thank you, Lord, for being with us tonight, protecting us, protecting Cheryl, for bringing us in Cheryl's life and giving us the strength to come back up here to help Cheryl. It is because of you we have the strength to push through these cases. We give all the glory to God, to Jesus Christ. I want you to be strong, okay? I know you've been through a lot. Yeah, I have. You've suffered a lot. Tonight it ends, your nightmare ends tonight, okay? Like I told you the first time I met you, everybody's worth saving, okay? I'm starting to feel like me again. Mm -hmm. And my lungs actually have air in them. You've got to continue to push, okay? And I don't even have a headache anymore. But you notice how once we came back here and we confronted where it was at, that drove it out, okay? No more talking to it. The people that did the Ouija board, all that other shit, just cut them out of your life, okay? That's what I plan on doing. My son and my dad dying and then this, I can't take much more. You got this, okay? Be strong, all right? I know God's got my back. Yeah. Lord, we pray that nothing has attached itself to us. We seal this van, the holy water, anything that may have tried to attach itself to Sean or I. In the name of Jesus, we command that you leave. We pray all these things in your name. Amen.